Good afternoon. President Bashar al-Assad has called upon France to be serious in talking about fighting terror, hoping it would change its U.S. dependent policy. In an interview with the French magazine Valour Actuel, President al-Assad said there is only one message to be addressed to President Hollande and his foreign ministry Fabrice, namely the need for France to severe its relations with Qatar and Saudi Arabia and to return to the French realistic independent policy, which is friendly to the Middle East and Syria. The most crucial precondition that should be made available in order to maintain cooperation between Paris and Damascus, the president said, is seriousness and the need for the French government to change its policy based on more than one criterion and to be part of a coalition that combines states which fight terror, not states which support and fight terror at the same time. When we talk about terror, President al-Assad went on, we should be aware that there is no such thing as Syrian, Libyan, Yemeni or French arena. There is only one single arena to combat terrorism. President al-Assad referred to what he had said years ago, that tampering with the earthquake in Syria means its aftershocks would impact the world as a whole and will first happen in Europe. On the Russian role, President al-Assad said, the motive behind the Russian coalition announced a few months ago, which involves sending their troops to Syria, is that if terror is not fought in Syria or other parts of the world, then it will strike everywhere, including Russia. The president made it clear that when Russia fights terrorism in Syria, it is in fact defending Russia, Europe and other countries. This has been our vision for decades since we fought the terrorism, Muslim Brotherhood in the 70s and 19th of the 20th century, the president affirmed. Syria, moreover, President al-Assad added, has always called for forming an anti-terror international coalition because terrorism knows no political limits and cares nothing about measures. What happened in France after the Charlie Hebdo incident confirms this theory. An army unit targeted a terrorist organization in Saad Hill in Suweda countryside, killing and wounding scores of terrorists. Meanwhile, army units foiled an infiltration attempt by ISIL in Al Qasr village as army engineering units, in cooperation with people defense groups, dismantled three explosive devices planted by terrorists in Al Haqif village. In Derha countryside, an army unit attacked terrorist hideouts north of Al Ghariya bridge, destroying a bulldozer. In Aleppo countryside, an army unit targeted an ISIL terrorist gatherings in Al Bab city, destroying terrorist vehicles in Al Amiriya. Meanwhile, an army unit eliminated all members of a terrorist group during an army operation in Aleppo's southwestern countryside. In Daraya, in Damascus countryside, Syrian Arab army units have taken control of new buildings and continue to advance along several axes after par paralyzing the terrorist group's mov movements. Also in Damascus suburb, the national defense troops backing the Syrian Arab army seized a tunnel under Harasta Highway. The tunnel, which continued explosive devices, was equipped with electric wires and cameras. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has said it is impossible to find a peaceful solution to the crisis in Syria without President Bashar al-Assad. In statement he made in Moscow, Lavrov said Russia is ready to co cooperate and coordinate with the international coalition provided that Syria's sovereignty be respected. Ali Akbar Wilayati, the advisor to Iran's supreme leader, stressed that Iran will not abandon its support of the Syrian people and leadership. Wilayati added that Syria's steadfastness in face of the terrorist plans prevented the Israeli ent entity from controlling the region. Wilayati pointed out that Syria's steadfastness became more durable and powerful than ever and this trend moves up in light of the victories achieved by the Syrian Arab army and what has happened recently in Quares airport and other areas. 
In Yemen, Saudi warplanes intensified airstrikes on Sana'a, Taz, and Sada, causing civilian co casualties and inflict inflicting material damages on residential areas. The Saudi airstrike targeted the Business Institute in Jahnan, north of the capital Sana'a, alongside residential buildings in Taz, destroying the central library in the city. Meanwhile, the Yemeni army continued to make progress in Jizan, destroying Saudi military vehicles and the surveillance tower in Al Dud site. Iraqi troops liberated the areas of Al Zaytun and ceramic west of Al Ramadi in Al Ambar province following fierce battles with ISIL terrorists. The Iraqi troops eliminated 22 ISIL terrorists and destroyed their vehicles and rocket launchers west of Al Ramadi. The Iraqi troops launched a surprise attack yesterday on Al Ramadi city and broke into Al Ambar city council after eliminating dozens of terrorists.